Hey everybody, Dr. Schultz from the Centennial Schultz Clinic, continuing the thoracic spine series. So one of my patients last week had an MRI and the findings were a lesion. Well, they lost a little bit of sleep and I don't want that to happen to you. So today we're gonna to be talking about thoracic spine lesions. So thanks for checking in and let's get started. The goals of this presentation are to define what in the world is a lesion what is the thoracic spine, and identify those areas where a lesion can occur in the thoracic spine. So as we've noted before, the thoracic spine is that section of the spine that's above the low back and below, I mean, below the cervical spine and above the low back. And you can see it depicted here. Uh, this is a side view. Again, the thoracic spine is this section here below the cervical spine and above the lumbar. And what in the world is a thoracic lesion? Well, it's a tissue abnormality. It's a nonspecific finding that's often reported in a CT or MRI. You may even, you may even see it in an x-ray report. And it can occur in different parts of the spine. It can include the spine itself, adjacent tissue, and the spinal cord. So I'm gonna go through some examples for you. So first and foremost, it can occur in the vertebral body. That's right, those building blocks that stack one on top of the other that constitute the spine. So this is a picture here. You can see the, the bony uh, steps here. These are the building blocks. And here to the right, I've depicted here, this is a lesion actually in the vertebral body. This is a hemangioma. The next where it can occur is the disc. The disc is that uh, shock absorber that's between the bony building blocks. It's a really, really important structure and it absorbs the forces of daily living. Now, uh, there can be a lesion in this and I've depicted that here. This is the side view and you can see this is the building block here and building block here, and in between is a disc. And you can see this white abnormality here. That could be reported as a lesion. Let's continue. A thoracic facet is also a source or a location where you can have a lesion. The facet is where the superior articular process and the inferior articular process come together. It's shown here from a posterior view. The needle is in it. There is a, at each level of the thoracic spine, a facet joint on the left, a facet joint on the right. And this is a cross section right here. And here's the facet joint, and here's the facet joint. And this uh, patient happens to have a synovial cyst that's being extruded from the facet joint. It can also be reported as a lesion. Well, the other location is the costal vertebral joint. This is a, a view from the bottom. It's basically the articulation of the transverse process with the rib head. And you can see here, this is an axial view that this patient actually has significant arthritis at the costal uh, transverse joint. What about the spinal canal? Of course, there can be a lesion. This is a cross section of the thoracic spine. This is posterior, otherwise known as the back. This is in the front. And you can see the spinal canal is this bony canal here that houses the cerebral spinal fluid and the spinal cord. And here is a lesion inside of the spinal canal. It's actually a disc protrusion, almost herniation. Continuation, you can have a lesion in the neuroforamen. It's depicted here. It's the bony doorway where the nerve exit. There's a nerve exiting at every single level of the, of the spine, and there's one on the right and the left. It can have a lesion, and this is depicted here on the right. You can see this is a side view MRI, and you can see these little keyholes, which are the neural foramen. 
the white is fat and the nerve is black in this sequencing. You can clearly see that there's compression here at, of the neural foramen, and this could be reported as a lesion. And then finally, the spinal cord. The cord is that section of the brain that continues the brain stem and goes all the way down. It's a central uh, processing of all of our functions. It's depicted here. This is a posterior view. And it can also be a source of lesion and is depicted right here. This is a syrinx that is demonstrated in the spinal cord. Symptoms of a thoracic lesion vary significantly depending upon the actual location of the lesion, the size of the lesion, and whether or not there's any adjacent tissue injury or damage. So again, a thoracic spine lesion is a nonspecific tissue abnormality. It can occur in the vertebral body, the thoracic disc, the thoracic facet joint, costotransverse joint, spinal canal, neural foramen, and spinal cord. If you or a loved one have thoracic pain that has not been responsive to conservative care or medications, please consider a consultation at the Centennial Schultz Clinic. We are experts in the evaluation and treatment of thoracic injuries. All the physicians here are board certified and fellowship trained. Treatment options include PRP and bone marrow concentrate, which is rich in bone marrow. Thank you again so much for your time today. We learned, I hope you learned a little bit about thoracic spine lesions. Till next week, thank you.